Did you see him? Where could Mona, Akechi-kun, and he be? Well, bad news for Akechi. We've literally looked everywhere. This is our original reality, right? Yes. I believe so, yes. The MetaNav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. Somewhere else? Somewhere where? You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to LeBlanc. Let's go! Oh, right! Hmm? I'm home. You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Yeah, right. Um, have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. What? Locked up? What's going on? What are you guys talking about? Well, I was gonna ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go over his situation? So he's in juvenile detention. Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi-kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality. Which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki, now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality, uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now. Akechi. What happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. Morgana should be access. Did someone say my name? Yeah. This again? Yeah, this again. Recycled gags suck! Why <laughs> do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that! Oh, uh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... No... I can't believe akechi son's really... What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. Yes. So he's incarcerated, and... Akechi is... I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but... 
This truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so... I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice! I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah! We won't put up with this injustice! But... What can we do to actually help him get out of there? I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So, what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? Now so what is the evidence? Then we're on the case! There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right! Let's go! We're gonna save our leader no matter what it takes! Yeah! Yeah! Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. There's a chip on the fifth time. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho san. Shiho? Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. Yeah? Who's glad to help? <clears throat> that would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Who should I talk to you? We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. No matter what. I already told you. There was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. Hmm. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not gonna let that happen, you hear me? I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please, I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. Thank you. I see, so that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? Yeah. Yeah, that's the kid. Also, you guys know someone in public security, right? Won't you introduce me to him? I have to protect him. Using whatever means necessary. I'm begging you. <laughs> please, I, I beg of you. Please help me collect enough signatures. I, I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... He's my best friend! So basically... The reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us. And now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Please, help him. Won't you please protest the police with me? Please! Please tell me if you know of this young man. 
I need testimonies from people to use in the special article in regards to him. Did he truly look like a boy who would cause an assault here? There's a discrepancy in the other residents' testimonies in the court decision at the time. Please, you have to remember. A certain young man is faced with a dilemma due to the unjust oppression by the government. He is suffering from a crime he did not commit. He is a promising young man who will support this country's future. What justice is there in a country without it being able to save such an individual? This cannot be allowed! This will not be allowed. Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. <coughs> Isn't his score amazing? I really want to go up against him, but I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. But I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices, like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. You have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. Please, please help him out. Yes, it's thanks to that young man. I would still be trapped in that awful match fixing if not for his support. And now, this honest gentleman is locked up in juvenile hall, despite being innocent. This time, I wish to be the one to come to his rescue. Please, he doesn't belong in juvenile detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the missed practice. Please, let me take just a short break. Uh, coach? No deal. But... I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. Yeah, nice. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled. Got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you, too. Thank you so much, Coach. You escape the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. What is that? The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Goodbye, Igor. Goodbye, Alfonso. Goodbye, Fafa the Room. Long time no see. 
We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind, it, it's nothing. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. I'm glad to hear that. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the Metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. I get to leave? That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. And that wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. I trust you. You made a promise. Thank you. <clears throat> Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but... Saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. You're exaggerating. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? Why do you want to know? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Alligator. Kept me waiting, jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. not moving at all. Happen again. Due to the railway incident <clears throat> this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? Oh, yeah. It's almost been a whole year since then. Huh. Thinking back... That was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. Yeah, you are. Again, soon you're gonna be... 
Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right? Namaste? Whoa! You did it! It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. So we meet again. It's good to see you. I'm back. All right, so let's grab a table. <clears throat> Curry time. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Now we're only missing one last person. Samira. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Senpai. Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Come on, Sumire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone. But then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, We'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. Yeah. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. You saved me. <laughs> right back at ya. They treated you fine, right? <laughs> Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I've heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? What? What's wrong with durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. <laughs> oh, and that wasn't you? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon. Just to hang in there. Hang in there. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from boss. You're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Can I? Yes. I'm sure we proved you're not guilty, but people are still going to label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just going to be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? Yeah. I was serious when I said it. <laughs> it sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. Yeah. He's pretty special after all. Plus, <laughs> we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Leave it to me. Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. 
I don't know. Is that important? <laughs> You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party... Yeah, just ignore the cat. I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Noisy cat. Hey, I'm not some normal cat. <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like... Mm -hmm. This is delicious. <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up. I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. <laughs> what was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. <laughs> You little... Why don't you go disappear again? Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! They're at it again. You guys never change, do you? High school never change. Seriously, that weirdo Inari. What? What Inari has nothing to do with this? Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. <laughs> uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! This is food, fluffy sheets. I guess home is what make you. I guess home is what you make of it, even in this abandoned building of a place. <coughs> hey, take care of me like this back home too, okay? But seriously, I want to ask you something. Remember the tail ends of Maruki's place when I was actually flying? That wasn't a dream, right? There wasn't. Nice. Yeah, I thought so. But I still can't figure out how that was possible in the first place. So, this is just a theory, but don't you still have that star Juicy gave you? Oh! Hey, it's. Star lost its luster. This was shining the last time you look at it, right? So it really was the fact of the star. Well, of course it was, now that I think about it. There's no other way that the idea of a cat converting into a helicopter could suddenly become a common cognition. A cat cannot transform into a car either. Well, we're true with the metaphors, and it only happened in the most extreme of emergencies. So I have a feeling that won't be happening again anytime soon. Exclusive, random and me is tearful release. How it feel to be free? You better come see me. Or I'll just go to your place tomorrow. Looks like I received some message. Are you home? If there's nothing wrong with you, then let me come over and examine you. Just kidding, I just want to see you. Can I come over tomorrow after work? I got a call from school that you returned safely. I'm so glad. I want to talk to you in person, so are you free tomorrow? I can make the trip to meet you somewhere if you want. I heard that you were returned. Welcome back. I'd like to see you. 
Do you have any plans for tomorrow evening? I've been waiting for you to get home. I have so much I want to talk to you about. I'd love to see you. Do you want to hang out tomorrow night? The party's not over. Tomorrow's gonna be the real one. I have a gift too. Let's make just the two of us. Hey, let's meet again tomorrow. We can celebrate your getting released, just the two of us. I have something for you too. I'll see you at your place. I could say this in front. I couldn't say this in front of all the others, but I'd like to see you privately. Can I come in Bala Blanc tomorrow? Hey, do you think we could meet again tomorrow evening? If it's alright with you, we have much to talk about. I'm glad you made it back. I'm sorry I couldn't pick you up when you get released. I'd like to see you tomorrow night, if that's okay. I can only spend time with one person tomorrow. What should I do tomorrow? Okay, guys. <coughs> Damn it. We got this choice. Damn it. What should we do? Okay, let's don't respond. Yeah, let's don't respond. We're going to spend time with Ryuji. Yeah, and we're going to load the game and see with uh, the Valentine's Day with everyone that I'm going to upload separately, I guess. Never chance to you. Come on, let's go to bed. You're working at the shop from tomorrow onward, right? <laughs>